One is $1,000 and one is $100. Can you guess which one is which? This right here is the S21 Plus Ultra. You can get this phone on AliExpress for like 100 bucks, but is it anything like the real Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra? Before we dive into the meat and potatoes of this phone, I have to read you some of the amazing features this thing has. This is the global version of the S21 Plus Ultra smartphone. Woo! That's a lot of pluses and ultras. This supposedly has a 6,800 milliamp battery, which the uh, S21 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp battery. So holy crap, look out. So in this awesome packing list here, we have the phone, obviously. Mobile phone case. I don't know that I got a case with this unless it's in the box. It is a little flimsy, but it's a good starter case. We have a charging line. Nice. Charger head. It ships according to my country. Well, that's good to know. Guys, this thing features mobile man manual technology. This is insane. This is a mobile manual right here. You can carry this thing around wherever you are. Like that is unheard of. Comes with a headset and a needle to get into your phone. As you can see here, we got the S21 Ultra phone on a bunch of crystals. Man, that is insane. 48 million HD rear cameras. Dude, that is insane. I thought five was enough. Apparently there's 48 million of them. It has an adopt dual core sensor and introduces aluminum. Guys, aluminum has never been seen before. This is like element 509. I don't know. It's not even on a periodic table, but it's here featured on this camera phone phone. It has artificial intelligence, guys. This thing will read your mind, cook you breakfast, and everything in between. It has Rubik's Cube technology. Dude, you could probably point this thing at a Rubik's Cube and the cube will solve itself. It won't know what the hell to do. It has a Cooper erase, not to be confused with copper, aluminum camera. <laughs> nice. I don't even know what that means. Aluminum backlight photo, aluminum portrait. Make mobile phone become your professional imaging team. I am going to fire all of my crew right now and this phone is going to literally replace all of them. It's gonna be insane. Now the camera itself features a big circle. We're talking a ginormous freaking big circle. Fast focusing and anti-shake. Pose a 24 megapixel front camera. The screen ratio is as high as 91%. I don't even know what that means, but that's insane. In games and videos, the content is displayed more and the phone is still small and light. Well, that's good. I don't know about small. This thing is 7.3 inches. The phone with the clear case is my uh, S21 Ultra. The blue one here that you can see is a little bit taller here. They're about the same width. The built-in fingerprint unlocking works great. Well, thank you for that clarification because I was a little skeptical until I read that right there. You can unlock quickly in 0.1 seconds and defend my phone easily. So if some dingleberry is trying to rob my identity, this thing will lock in 0.1 seconds, but if I'm unlocking it, I don't know how I'm defending my phone. It has a strong, strong, not like noodle arms, 10 core processor. The remodeling Android resource scheduling mechanism greatly reduces the probability of stagnation, crash, etc. So you can grab red packets faster, guys. I There is nothing more than I have ever wanted in my life is to be able to grab red packets faster. The experience between game engines, playing big games, not just small games, we're talking big freaking games here guys has made great progress network speed frame rate and image smoothness this ultra world leading 24 megapixel front camera right here guys turns my every self into a work of art experience greater brightness color vibrancy clarity and dynamic range turn your selfies into masterpieces. Max, let's turn this thing on and see what it's like. So some of the differences is, as you can see, this is the real S21 Ultra. As you can see, the front camera on the S21 Ultra is supposed to be in the middle. This one's kind of on the side. So here's the side with the volume and the power buttons here. They actually look pretty on point. So this is the volume here and uh, that's the power button. The top on the real one has a few extra holes. There. So there's a comparison of the back here. As you can see, the cameras, it's pretty close. It's got the three on the left and then your flash in the middle and then there's two more so and the bottom you'll notice here the speakers in a different spot on the other one plus on the generic one it is it has a freaking headphone jack i don't know why they got rid of that dumbest thing ever let me know if you guys agree or disagree turn it on it vibrates it says welcome well what a beautiful message i have never turned this phone on before so you're seeing this as a whoa look at that welcome I'm gonna try and just connect to my Wi-Fi. So the interface is definitely a little different here. Does not look like it's running at the 120 hertz that the uh, S21 Ultra runs at, which is a definitely a big feature that's missing there. We can go up to our settings. Whoa, I got a notification, holy crap. 
menu screen is very different from regular Android here, but you can supposedly link your Google accounts and stuff. Look at the smoothness on the real phone compared to the, look at that, you can see the big, huge difference there. So let's see how well this fingerprint sensor works. Fingerprint added, all right, done. Looks like it's down here, so shebang. Yeah, look at that. Well, let's try it with my other thumb that I didn't register in there. Ah, it's still unlocked though, what the poop? Let's try my pointer finger. It still unlocks the dang thing. Well, what good is that? So this is uh, Google Chrome, which it has here. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling through this, it's definitely uh, not a hundred and not really close to the 120 hertz that the real S21 Ultra is, but when you're on the Wi-Fi, it's actually not bad for a hundred dollar phone. Oh, surprise, that says Sniper Wolf's on the freaking suggested page. Yeah, there's no algorithm. I this keyboard is so hard to type on for some reason. Let's see if it still finds me. Archie, move it. The stuff loads actually pretty quick, which is not bad. Not bad though. I mean, if you need it for like a backup phone or like a phone for your five-year-old that's gonna break it in three days, boom, it's only a hundred bucks. Dude, this thing is like potato quality. <laughs> Blum! Cause that's the sound cameras make when you take a picture. All right, so here's a nice side-by-side -side photo of my Pac-Man plush taken in almost the exact same spot. Can you guess what photo is the real S21 Ultra? Indistinguishable, man, uh, insane. This freaking thing got 48 million HD rear camera technology. I don't want to hear it. In case you're wondering, this does have Google Play, so you just got to sign in, which is kind of cool. I don't know what version of Android this is running, if this is even is Android or what. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the screens. The screen actually is not bad as far as like the resolution. Come on, baby, don't disappoint me. Network connection failed? What? Your device's software is currently up to date. Well, I guess we're stuck on Android 10. So here's the battery usage here. As you can see, I'm at 61% and it says I only have about three hours left, which is like, I don't know, that seems, I don't know if that's screen on or what the heck. But I guess that's my usage. There's no way that's a 6,800 milliamp battery. If it is, it's junk a -roni. Here's a look at some of the awesome emojis you get here. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Absolutely gorgeous. And even when you power off the phone, it still says welcome, well, <laughs> that's, that's great. Overall, I wouldn't say it's the worst thing I've purchased for $100. It is a little slow and sluggish and a little screen's a little eh, but hey, for a hundred bucks, if you're on a budget, it connects Wi-Fi no problem and the speeds are actually pretty good. So even if you just want to use this as like an extra little tablet or something, if you want to watch YouTube on it or whatever, instead of using your actual phone's battery, hey, for a hundred bucks? I do also really like the color on this too. This one just is like the midnight gray or whatever. I forget what the actual name was, but I definitely really like this blue because blue is my favorite color so and that's my review of a real samsung s21 ultra versus a knockoff let me know what you guys thought if you want me to do more of these with different products this is my second channel be sure to drop a sub if you're new and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and like we always say thanks for watching